No way, as I made the video, I got another effigy from a traveling merchant. I just bought it for 1 million coins. And I was like, maybe, you know, I'm going to try to boost it. And I actually unlocked it after opening 11 effigies. What is the effie? How does it look like? I, I guess flying effigy. Where are you? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> All right. Well, we're done with this bet, I guess. 1 in 100 chance was to get it. All right. So at this point, I decided to finish what I started in my previous videos, and that is to get 100 thread by rune crafting. This is to make a rune pouch, and then later I can put runes in it, and specifically the disruption shield, which you can cast every minute. It's very good at Telos, and it negates the next attack that the NPC does. Also good at Ambassador as well. So my friend actually told me a method how to get these threads faster. You see, the only way to get these threads if you're doing the abyss rune crafting. Maybe you also need to wear the skull. I'm not sure. This is the skull where uh, you know you're risking in Wildy 550k, but also it gives you a lot of bonus XP when you're crafting runes, like a lot you see every time you enter the rift let's say the blood altar you have one minute until the bonus thing expires meaning it shouldn't be working like this i don't know if this was intentional but you can go to any other altar after that and you can get the bonus xp as well so what i did i had some rune span points i bought over 200 astral teleport tabs i would go inside the blood rift craft the runes i would still get the bonus for the next one minute i would teleport to the bank and i could break three astral tabs before the bonus wears off and you can actually get magical threads by this you see normal rune crafting doesn't give you any magic threads so i actually got from level 81 to 84 rune crafting by doing this method it was fairly fast and um, astral runes are something that you really need because you cannot buy it in shops you actually can but you can only buy 100 every 24 hours i crafted in total over i think it's close to 30,000 astral runes by doing this method i used up all the teleport tabs by doing this i cannot buy any more because i don't have any more rune span points but I was able to collect 100 threads. So let's see how this went. All right, let's runecraft. Come on, is this a level? Yes. Okay, finally I can stop from 81 to 84 today, all in a row. Seven mind runes per essence. <gasps> Whoa. So I'm going to take all this magical thread right now. Let's try to weave it. So let's see if I have everything except uh, level 90 runecrafting. So from my early days in the animal farm, whenever I started like one month after starting RuneScape 3, I actually collected just for fun this uh, colored wool because there are all different kinds of colored sheep that you can breed. Well, it turns out you actually need it right now. I think I can mix this, which is kind of weird. I'm going to drink this after. It's a, it's a runecrafting potion. We're going to upgrade that though, because it only gives plus three. Then we're going to take apparently a rare item, which is a yak milk. I bred yaks for just a little bit, but if you examine this yak milk, it goes for 63 thousand each so i'm going to assume that the super rune crafting potions are going to be expensive yep they're going for seventy three thousand each but we're not stopping here because this only gives plus five i need a little bit more i need to make extreme rune crafting which is going to be funny because it's going to go from plus five i think all the way to above 99 okay i accidentally drank one though <laughs> my bad <laughs> I tried to use it, and I don't know how that happens. But there we go, Extreme Room Crafting plus 17 and also lasts for 6 minutes, meaning it recharges the stats, kind of like overload. Actually, before we make the pouch, I'm wondering if I drink this right now, can I make Sea Singers? Is that... No, it doesn't seem like... No, it's 90. Even though my room crafting is 101, it's not boostable apparently, but apparently it's boostable to make the rune pouch. So hopefully people gave me the correct information. Apparently, yes, the rune crafting level is available. Making this right now a large rune pouch. It is tradable. So I really wanted to test it out. So I went to Telos and I gotta say it's a, it's a very nice ability. I mean, the downside is that you have to be on Lunars, but I love that deflect attack it just like if there, there was this powerful attack that was supposed to hit for like seven thousand like because i'm we, even through master work it's like the total damage is supposed to be like thirteen thousand if not wearing master work and in this clip right here bam just negated just like that all my other defensives were on cooldown so i couldn't have resonanced because i messed up the kill a little bit and it's like oh yeah no problem just just cast the shield it's okay it's, it's gonna hit zero also for ambassador as well i tried it out 
and it just makes it much easier. Let's say if you have two spinners sucked in, the first one you can resonance for zero damage, and the second one, oh, just cast a spell. That's it, it's just negate. Uh, makes it so, so much easier. And I couldn't believe what happened. I one cycled the ambassador, which means uh, there are these spinners that he does. It's like uh, his uh, mechanics, and that's called a cycle. Once the spinners come out, to kill the spinners. And after one minute, he's going to do the spinners again, and he's going to do it infinitely until you hit him to 550,000 HP. So it dealt so much damage that he did only one spinner. It was very close though, but I wasn't even trying. I was like, do just chilling, chilling. I'm like, wait, hold up. Wait, has it been one only? Well, I, I could maybe, I could maybe pull it. And I did. And that actually proved my total kill time by almost two whole minutes. Because I didn't have to waste time, you know, running around those spinners. Hey, I gotta say, improving little by little, you know, personal best. By the way, in that same dungeon, I increased all personal best for all of the bosses. The first one, the second one, and the ambassador. I gotta say thank you to Cinder being gloves and weapon poison plus plus, because that's like the only thing that I changed, and maybe I changed my rotations a little bit, but it's mainly Cinder being gloves. This, uh, whew, man. The poison extra damage that you deal with, like, you know, the fight lasts quite a bit and it just adds up so much. But I want to show you what I did yesterday. I was not really commentating until, you know, unless I'm going to get something, but I killed quite a bit of ambies. You see, there's two, there's one, uh, there's three, some experience gain, then there's another one, another one. Then I did some Blackstone Dragons, you know, just mix it up a little bit, then another three ambassadors. Another ambassador. I got nothing and this is what i got the effigy pet so you can you can see the timeline i got the effigy pet and i you know i did my daily uh reaper task and then ambi i got nothing uh even though the, like, like i said the drop rate is 1 in 55 so you shouldn't really expect anything but the thing is that the whole run takes 30 minutes half an hour to, to do one kc so all of this took 25 hours just constantly fighting enemies actually i realized i Probably collected a lot of stuff, gold. Wait, I'm gonna play some clips right now. Maybe I commentated some. Whoa! That's probably the first time I see this many 182 awning dust. Wait, that had to be doubled. Wait, that was not doubled actually, was it? Nope, that was... Oh my god, that's like two full onyxes. You see, the other loots were doubled. If this was doubled, could have been three full onyxes and a bit a little bit more and now let's see what's inside the chest 86 million i uh, will i don't know I, i'll keep the rare relics maybe but these should be i mean it, i should put them in the auto alka right now just because it's gonna take time to alka everything and these salvages specifically because these are going for forty thousand each so this is over 10 million right here and this is like six mil this is like 16 million plus these oh this is like 19 million or something i can also convert all of these dust into 12 onyxes if i need to oh damn that's a lot of ghost essence actually i should whoa <laughs> when was the last time i used the ectoplasmator wait it's gonna give more isn't is it 941 oh yeah yeah there we go 5,000 charges oh my god that's so, i can't even put any more it, it's actually full oh my god i had i even more in the bank Probably from the last time or something. All right, let's put all of these in Auto Alcar because I want to see that GP coming in, you know. So at least there's a consolation prize. You don't get anything from Elite Dungeons, from like the main drops, but these are getting all of these uh, 1.5 mil. Thank you. Put this, this, and probably this I'll put. I know I could disassemble these, but I'm not going to do that. It's going to take one day and 11 hours. I usually come back way earlier. <laughs> I usually say I'm gonna leave this for like, oh, just gonna forget this for like five days, gonna come back, all the gold is gonna be there, all the disassembled parts. Nope, I literally go here like twice a day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I do kind of hate early dungeons. I love completing them. It's just that they're not giving anything. But again, the drop rate is 1 in 55, and I got 49 kills, so kind of on the drop rate again the problem is that it took me probably over 25 hours to do this 49 kills just clearing the whole dungeon i think i'll take a break for now but who knows maybe next video i'm gonna return i don't know i i, I like them but i wish they gave a little bit more loot anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed 
I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, hold up. I thought I hit 10 minute video, but I didn't. I still need four seconds. And I think they elapsed now. Thank you. Bye.